I thought it was a hard fought game. Uh, Texas Southern is a very good basketball team, uh, but I, I give our guys a lot of credit for um, fighting through the deficit early, uh, slow start, and then um, holding on at the end. Def, this is a new basketball team, relatively new. They haven't played very much together, and, and they did a great job today of becoming a team. Well, I mean, he felt good because now I think people will see that we can still play without him. We'd love to have him on the floor, but he fouled out. He was in foul trouble. The team held it together, and that's a compliment to them. Coach, you had a Claiborne and Murray in the first half of the big size in there. Mm -hmm. um, how'd you guys deal with that, and, and what did you tell your players in order to, to switch up the strategy a little bit? Well, we were just trying to be solid. I think in the beginning we were trying to front Murray, and he's, he's a very good basketball player. So we wanted to stay behind and kind of make him make shots over us. When we saw he was getting tired, we definitely didn't want to gamble. We just wanted to be solid and then box out and get the rebound, limit them to one shot. How does the offense change, if at all, when you've got Ray Taylor as a point guard who's 5'6", and then you bring in Jason Ball, who's six, who stands at about 6'5", six, 6'6". Five, six, six. Does that change the scheme at all? Is, that, is there No. Um, only on a few plays, we, we might run something for Jason where we can get a, a post up for him rather than, you know, something for Ray. So that's, that's it, but everything else remains the same. And what happened in the first half? It looked, it looked like Texas Southern was kind of getting into the heads of some of the players. There was a lot of talk within the team itself rather than uh, against them early on. And what kind of happened with I mean, I think it was just, you know, a heated game. You know, guys were, were really intense and, you know, things were exchanged. And sometimes, well, most of the time, the second guy is the one who gets caught. So you know, it happened. We got a couple texts, but we we just have to learn from it, maintain our composure, and then move forward. Okay. What well, did you cut to the guys in the, in the halftime? Because it looked like the Friday's game was the same thing. It was a slow start mm -hmm. with everything going on. Today was a slow start, mm -hmm. and it wasn't until the second half with things started kind of stuff. Well, I, I think the difference between the two games is Texas Southern ran on us in the beginning, and they got easy transition baskets. And once we got that under control, we were able to get stops and get back into the basketball game. Coach, how you guys are on a little streak here. How important are these early season wins before you guys start to get the meat of the schedule? Extremely, because again, this is this is a new team. You know, most of these guys haven't played together or played a lot uh, of basketball. So we're, we're trying to get some chemistry, and these games are important for us to get chemistry. Any more questions for coach? Any concern with free throws? Free throws. I mean, last last uh, Friday failed to get a one at all, and tonight another nine percent. We just have, we just have to continue to work on it. You know, it's it's something that is. Concentration. You know, you do enough reps. You just have to go up there, you know, concentrate, go through your routine, and knock them down. It's just something we'll continue to work on. Thank you. Thank you.